Hello, and welcome to another MindFish Prep SAT video explanation for the official SAT study guide. My name is Jordan, and in this video, I'll be explaining problem 19 from section 3, test 4 of this book. This is a circles problem. You're given this diagram of a sector with a central angle of 30 degrees and an arc length of 6 pi, and asked, what is the area of sector PQR? Now, as with any problem, there's more than one way to handle this. But if you're dealing with a question that asks about sector area or arc length, there's one approach you can use that'll work every single time. So that's the approach we're going to take. If you have a question that asks about sector area or arc length, you should start by setting up these three part to whole ratios for a sector. What I mean by that is we're going to set up three ratios that compare the measurements associated with a sector to the measurements associated with the entire circle. So the first one will be the angle. If the angle associated with a sector is the part, what is the whole for the entire circle? Well, that'll be 360 degrees. That's the whole amount of angle in the whole circle. The next measurement is the sector's arc length. If the sector's arc length is the part, what is the whole for the entire circle? That's just its circumference, 2 pi r. And then the third measurement we're going to do is the sector's area. If the sector's area is the part, what is the whole for the entire circle? Just the circle's area, pi r squared. All right. Now that we have our three ratios set up and set equal to each other, we can start filling them in with information from the problem. The information we're given is the angle associated with the sector, and the arc length associated with the sector. Oh, sorry, that's 6 pi. Finally, A, the area of the sector, is what we're solving for. And now you're ready to solve for A. Now because A is in a ratio with uh, R, the radius of the circle, that you haven't solved for yet, you're not going to be able to immediately solve for A. You're going to have to solve for R first. Fortunately, if you use these two ratios equal to each other, the only unknown is R, and you can solve for R using those. Now, if you can simplify a fraction, you always should, just to make your life easier. So let's simplify this one down to 1 12th, and this one down, cross out the pies, to 3 over r. Anytime you have two fractions equal to each other, just cross multiply. And you see that the radius of the circle is 36. Now that we know what r is, we can plug it in here and help us solve for A. So, if area over pi times 36 squared is equal to this guy, is equal to this guy, you can set it equal to either of the two to solve for A. I'll pick 1 over 12 just because it looks easier. Cool, now you have an equation that will allow you to solve for A. Anytime you have two fractions, cross multiply. 12a equals 36, whoop, not 32, 36 squared pi. If you divide both sides by 12, you'll get a is equal to 108 pi. So that's the answer, a, 108 pi. And that's how you do it. Thanks, and please continue to check out more MindFish videos.